little girls on their packaging. What? I don't know necessarily what that means. I just threw it on the table. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So for today's video, I'm kind of doing like two videos in one. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a lot of my current beauty favorites. I'm gonna be applying them onto my skin as I'm doing kind of like a get ready with me, but I also saw Jackie Aina, Jackie Aina. <laughs> Jackie Aina, I think that's how you pronounce it. I feel like I never pronounce things right. Do you guys ever have it where you like hear it in your head and you're like, that's how you say it. And then when it comes out of your mouth, you're like, that's not how you say it. <laughs> I saw her do this video where she basically talked about beauty brands that kind of fell off. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I wanted to do that with Korean beauty brands and just kind of discuss a little bit. But yeah, uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so first things first, I pretty much already done my skincare for the morning. I did go ahead and spray my skin down with this Dear Claire's Fundamental Ampule Mist. Mist. See, I don't say things right. Fundamental Ampule Mist. So what I've been doing is I spray this all over my skin and then I've been putting these Kose Clear Turn Eye Patches on right on top of that mist. Basically what I've been doing is I've been locking in the moisture underneath my eyes. I've been basically doing this morning and night and I see such a major difference. And you don't have to do it for a very long time. Honestly, the material of these, they don't hold moisture for that long. Typically I do it for, I don't know, three to five minutes and then I'm good to go. Next I'm gonna go ahead and apply on some sunscreen. I'm gonna be applying the Perito Comfy Water Sunblock. This is a fairly new product from Perito and I've really been enjoying the consistency of this. I mean, Perito's been like pumping out some sunscreens for the summer times. Okay, so first beauty brand I'm gonna talk about is actually, they used to have one of my favorite products of all time and that is Leo Welly. Do you guys remember Leo Welly back in the day? Their BB cream was honestly one of my favorite BB creams, even though I think they only had like one shade of BB cream, which is kind of insane. But I used to really love them and I have no idea where they went. I remember they had like a water gel cream. It's interesting with cream beauty because it's like, even if you have like a hit product, I remember that BB cream was super popular. I actually discovered it because I think it was Bubs who initially recommended it. It's really hard to talk by the way when you're trying to apply sunscreen onto your neck area. I feel like I'm like, ugh. <laughs> I remember really liking the coverage and consistency of it, and then I just like never heard about Leo Welly or that brand again. So, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and apply on my eyebrows. I've really been loving this Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I use 376 Medium Brow. I'm kind of getting back into the brow pomade game. Okay, a little closer. Another brand that was kind of like that, although I have to say, I don't know if I ever really liked any of their products. I just don't see them at all anymore. Is Bobby Fat? Babby Fat? Bobby Fat? I remember they always had like little girls on their packaging. That sounds really weird, but they, they actually did. They had like cartoon girls on their packaging. And I remember they did have a store at one time, a freestanding store in Myeongdong. I never really heard from them again. I remember I tried, I think like a hand cream from them, probably a lipstick. I have no idea what happened to them. Oh, itchy nose. Oh, I've been having such bad allergies lately, guys. For my eye base, I'm gonna be using this, the Can Make Lasting Multi Eye Base. If you guys have been watching my streams lately, you guys know I am obsessed with this. I love it because it's like a slightly thicker consistency, so it really does like even out the texture of your eyelid, but it's clear as it goes on and super affordable, and this tube is literally gonna last me forever. A little touch. <laughs> of it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what happened to Bobby Fudd. I don't know if they just never really caught their market. I just never see them anymore. Oh, okay. This is also kind of like a one hit wonder for me in my book. Kind of like Leo Welly with their BB cream. I guess Leo Welly also had eyeliners that I like too. So I might take that back. This brand was definitely a one hit wonder for me. Very Somme. Very Somme was the brand that had that super popular peel off lip, lip pack. And First and foremost, I have to say, I never really liked that product. I know it was really trendy on YouTube because it was just so unique and interesting. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using the, I think it's pronounced Heme Liquid Eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the shade for Russet Red. Heme is actually a Taiwanese brand and I have to say, these are excellent. I love the consistency of this. I love how sparkly it is. And evidently this is formulated for Asian eyes. I don't know necessarily what that means, but it's super good. I'm gonna take a dirty brush. Ooh, it's like molten. 
lava like colorways. I know Barry saw them, like you can still pick them up. I know that they had skincare come out, but I never heard about anyone talking about them outside of those lip packs. I'm sure you guys, they made bank off that product. Like in all honesty, that product made that company <laughs> exist and thrive for probably a good amount of time. But I am just confused on where they went or what happened to them. And like I said, they are definitely my definition of like a beauty brand that's a one hit wonder. I'll take a little bit underneath my eyes, whatever is kind of like left over on my brush. While that sets, I guess I will go ahead and move on to another brand, which is Skin Food. Can someone tell me what's going on with Skin Food? I have no idea. Like I remember hearing rumors that they were closing down. Last time I was in Korea, which was last fall, so about six months ago, I don't remember seeing a ton of them like there used to be but I don't know if that meant that all of the skin food freestanding stores were closed down or if I just didn't see any. By the way, for my crease, I'm gonna be using the Biba eyeshadow in shade 01. These are really good, you guys. I love these matte shadows. Biba makes really good matte shadows in general. Then I'm gonna take another <laughs> dirty brush, try to brush some of the shadow off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and like soften the edge of my liquid shadow. So before their store started shutting down, because obviously they did, definitely did have some stores shut down because where there used to be stores, there weren't any. <laughs> That's a good explanation, Morgan. They weren't getting any new stock replenished, but it's so weird because Skin Food definitely had a lot of good products and a lot of my favorites. I think they just really became outdated. Like they never really updated with the times. Even their packaging looked really like, K-Beauty circa 2008, 2009, 2010 before it really hit the US wave. I did check Ulta to see like if they were still available there and they are available online at Ulta, but I don't think that they're in stores or maybe they're only in limited stores and not all the stores. I did not do a very good job blending my crease out. I think it's because I used a dirty brush. So I'm gonna actually use the concealer I'm gonna be using later in the video just to clean up under my eyebrow. I'm gonna be using the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. These are actually new from Catrice and I'll get into them in a second when I go over them on my face. <laughs> I'll be using the shade 20 Light Beige. Also besides Ulta, I know you can pick them up on like YesStyle. By the way, what's going on with some of the brands are gone from YesStyle? Has anyone else noticed that too? I'm like, where's the Tude House? Where's, I think Innisfree was gone. What else did I notice was gone? I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's like a transitional period or what. But yeah, I know Skin Food is still available on YesStyle. I know you can still find them online. But they've been in talks of closing down for a while, like at least a year or two. Another shadow I've really been loving is the Clio Prism Air shadows. I am gonna be using 18 Beige Glow. You can actually <laughs> see how well loved this shadow is. Like I beat this up. It's one of those like jelly textured shadows and I love it because it emphasizes the glitter and shimmer so I'm going to be using it on my inner tear duct. I love these shadows too because they kind of change dimension whenever you layer them on top of any color. They kind of take on a life of their own. For my liner, I'm going to be using the Caradium Waterproof Eyeliner Pen Black. This is so good if you're looking for just like an inky, stark black liquid liner. And Caradium is a brand I don't really hear a lot about either. <laughs> But this is really nice, I really like it. And it's long lasting and as you'll see, goes on super dark. It really might have been a case of a brand just trying to expand too fast, coming to the Western markets. But I don't know, they, they must have been kind of having a hard time before if they had to shut down like that, at least like their brick and mortar stores. Conspiracy theory here. Maybe they were trying to like increase the demand for their hero items, like their staples, so people would stock up on them and then it would increase sales and then they'd be like, just kidding. A theory, by the way. <laughs> I have no insider information. I'm just making things up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and really quickly apply my mascara. I am going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original, kind of refining my love for this. I have been using this religiously in the past like month or so, but I've talked about this before and I'm sure you guys heard about this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go off camera and apply this. 
Okay, we're back. I did apply a little bit more of that liquid shadow underneath my eyes. It was really pretty, so I wanted more of it. And next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my foundation, the foundation that I have been loving for actually quite some time now. I just haven't talked about it on my channel, so since I talked about it on stream, I wanted to shout it out here. And that is the Catrice Cosmetics HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I use the shade Fair Beige, and this is where I'm gonna revisit those concealers. Again, these are new, and I'm gonna be using the 032 Nude Beige under my eyes and just kind of spot covering. I really love this foundation because it's super lightweight. It's pretty much matte on the skin, but it has a little bit of, I don't know, it just doesn't dry down like other mattes do. And also it has pretty nice coverage for being so lightweight. Like it really doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup, which is really nice. So this might be just me. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. But I've noticed not only have there been, I don't know, less craze about cushion foundations, but I just noticed some companies have not made them a priority in their lines. For example, one of the most popular cushion manufacturers or makers, I just don't see their cushions around a ton anymore. I know obviously they still make them, but I guess I've just not seen them market them as much, at least here in the States, and that is the Iope Air Cushions. I know they have a couple different versions, but I just, I don't know if it came to a point where there were just too many competitors, so they're getting drowned out by a lot of the other cushion foundations. Because if you guys remember, like back when Korean Beauty was first becoming really popular in the States, and when people were learning about cushion foundations outside of Korea, I felt like you know, the main brands that a lot of people heard of were like Laneige, probably a Tude House, just because it was like a more affordable one, and then Iope, like Iope's air cushion was their mainstay. I'm just not seeing them as much. I also think it's kind of the same thing is going on in Korea as well as here in the States. I think there's just been a big surge of indie brands in general and the popularity of them. Don't get me wrong, I think the big brands are still popular and still have their products that everyone loves to purchase and enjoy. But I also have noticed that there are a lot of indie brands that have been doing really well. Let's say maybe five, six, seven years ago, it was way harder for an indie brand to kind of come to market. And I feel like now it's almost easier for brands to be indie because they kind of have that more relatable, attainable type of vibe. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set just areas of my face, like underneath my eyes and around my smile lines that need to be set. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Complexion Powder. I use the shade Light Beige. Again, this has been another favorite of mine. I like it because it's convenient. It doesn't overly dry my skin, but it just sets the areas, adds a little bit more coverage. I don't know if it's just cushions in general are becoming less popular because I am seeing more Korean beauty brands come out with like foundation type products, like liquid foundation type products, or if I'm just personally moving away from them more, or if it's like a lot of the bigger brands like Laneige or Iope that used to really be known for their cushion products just aren't advertising them as much, or they're just not coming out with newer versions. Like, I don't know, when's the last time that even Laneige came out with a new cushion? It's been a hot minute, hasn't it? This blush has been one of my favorite blushes to use. This is the Holocaholica New Drop Lumi Cheek. I just threw it on the table. <laughs> I use the shade Caramel Luster. This is such a pretty color, I can't get over it. If you saw this Instagram picture here, I basically had it all over my face. Like if I could put this all over my face and get away with it day to day, I totally would because that's how much I love this. It's super lightweight, the shimmer in this is beautiful. It just does so much for me, I'm not gonna lie. And I kind of keep it at the top of my cheeks because I like how that looks now. It's kind of the trend at the moment, just to kind of go like this with your blush. <laughs> right across the face horizontally. So let me hear your guys' thoughts on cushion foundations in general. I actually have picked up a couple of the newer cushion foundations. I don't know, maybe it's just people aren't wearing foundation like they used to. Like, it's definitely becoming more popular to have like almost no foundation to be able to see like all the little features on your skin. So I've been sitting over here like, where'd all the cushion foundations go? Last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip color. I am 
Sorry, gonna go back to my lipsticks. I can't help myself because I just genuinely love them that much. I'm actually gonna be combining two of the shades from my VDL collection. I'm gonna be combining Lucky Amber as well as Peachy Beach and just kind of making a custom color that kind of matches my eyes. Literally how I've been doing it is I just dab on some color like that and then I take the other lipstick and dab them on. This is Peachy Beach that I'm going over Lucky Amber with. I'm kind of messy with it because honestly, I've been into over blending past my lips a little bit, like kind of feathering out my lip line. You can use a brush or a tip or your finger like me. <laughs> there have just been so many movements in the market as far as trends go. It's just really interesting to see like what brands have been able to stick around longer, what brands weren't able to weather the storm. I mean, keep in mind guys, like as much as I talk about beauty and it's basically, well, it is my job. I'm just like you guys, like I'm a consumer first and I'm kind of talking based off my observations. So I am super curious to hear what you guys have to say, your thoughts on this video and your comments because sometimes I read your guys' comments and I'm like, wow, that is something I didn't think of, but definitely a really good point. I mean, look at that color. It's so pretty. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, thank you to Jackie for, I don't know, posting your video so I could get inspiration from it. And I will go ahead and link the products that I mentioned in this video in the description box below in case you guys want to pick them up. Again, these are basically all of my current favorites. As always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.